I think in melanoma today, we're, we've really embraced personalized treatment for our patients. Whether it's an early melanoma and deciding whether they should have a sentinel node biopsy to figure out if they need adjuvant therapy, whether it's a node positive patient making them some difficult decisions about when and how to use adjuvant therapy, whether to put them on a clinical trial, or whether it's advanced disease. Do we go on a clinical trial? Do we use one of the older approved agents, one of the newer approved agents, immune therapy, targeted therapy? Almost every melanoma patient along the spectrum, once they become invasive melanoma, we have to make some individualized or personalized decisions for that patient. And nowhere is that more important than with the late stage disease. Um, I think one thing we would make clear is that personalized medicine is more than just checking the genes and saying, oh, I found a gene that's mutated and I have a drug that targets that mutant protein so I'll automatically use that. In melanoma, it's much more than that. We want to know about the mutations. We want to know whether the tumor might be responsive to a uh, targeted therapy, but often we're going to still do surgery or even immune therapy before we would use targeted therapy. So it's going to be tumor burden, uh, the, num the amount of symptoms and, and the kind of symptoms a patient is having. It's going to be the patient's overall state of health. Um, there are going to be a lot of factors that are going to go into a personalized decision about what treatment to use for a patient with advanced melanoma that includes knowing the mutation status but goes far beyond that.